Hello, y'all. Hello, everyone. Um, different angle. Same table as like my other videos and stuff like that, but different angle. Um, can we just look at this dangler, this Gotama Avocado Toast dangler? Like, is it not the future? Like, is it not? But anyways, uh, I wanted to come on here basically and just announce something that actually got officialized. It's going to take two or three days to actually pop up on my school account and everything like that. But it actually, I got a message from the advisor from the department um, that he has submitted the request to do the change. Now, what change is this? So, uh, as y'all may know, I've been in school. I've made countless videos of me being in school and studying psychology and just having like a breakdown. Essentially, I posted a video of me literally having a breakdown about school because I was just like, I don't like this. And my dog just farted. It's pretty ripe. But, um yeah but um so i was taking a psychology and i was doing psychology but i realized that like i usually take four classes per semester that's usually what i aim for and i will always take two classes of like a psychology because that was my major i'm doing psychology so i'll take two psychology classes and then the other two are really up to me like i usually leave them open to do like any elective course or just any other thing that I want to branch out into and see what it's about. So for those two courses, I have usually filled them with an African studies class or Africana studies class, which I love literally learning about black people, the history of black people in a different light than just learning about slavery and things like that. So it's 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 empowering to black people instead of just talking about black people. Oh, yeah, black people, they went through slavery, period. Like there's a lot more to black people than just slavery. And yeah. So that's one class that I took, and I obviously took it because I'm black, so I feel like I just gravitated towards that. Um, second class that I've been taking is something in women's gender sexuality studies. I'll take a class in that, or I'll take a queer studies class. So it's either queer studies or women's gender sexuality studies class, also known as WIGS, W-E-G-S-S, -S, short for WIGS. A lot of people in the major and in the department just call it WIGS. That's what my professor, my professor just calls it WIGS. But yeah, so I've taken... Like I said, so half would be psychology, half would be Africana studies or wigs or queer studies. And I noticed that I enjoy the queer and African studies classes way more than I enjoy the psychology ones. The psychology ones are okay. Like I can see why people would be interested in doing psychology. But for me personally, it just doesn't give me what I want out of an education. Like I don't feel like that's what I should be at college going to school. Like it doesn't, I don't wake up and feel like I'm really changing the world in a sense, going to the, my psychology classes. And I know that I was in them for a reason, you know, like there, that was a point in my progress. Like I got an associate's degree in psychology. My my psychology degree got me into Cal State Long Beach. So there was a lot of purpose in getting into psychology. And I also did it because my dad was in it. I've taken child development courses because my mom was in it. So I've just also done a lot of things to kind of fall in the footsteps of my parents, which is fine. But now that I'm getting older, I'm just like, okay, let me create my own lane. Like I've got, I've, I did community college and I did what my parents did. Okay. But now I'm at Cal State Long Beach, my dream school. Like, what am I going to do here? What do I want to do here? And literally over like the last two weeks, I've just been like talking to myself and thinking about it. And I started the semester in my WGG, WGG, my wigs course. I'm just going to call it wigs. The women's gen, women's comma, gender, comma, sexuality studies. So it's a study of women, the study of gender and the study of sexuality. Just in case you want to uh, need to clear it up. So basically, I started the class in wigs and the class is called Queering Gender. It's in wigs. It's called Clear Queering Gender. So essentially, um, I was in that class and my professor was talking about how she majored in women's gender and sexuality studies because she's teaching the course. And I don't know why I never really thought of the fact that you can major in that. Like the fact that you can major in studying about trans people, the, the fact that you can major in studying about women's, the fact that you can major in studying about feminism, the fact that you can major in studying about the world and how to make, to, 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 to change things in a radical way from the root and not just from a surface level, to, to look at the world differently, to see perspective differently. So, hey, it's my bunny. He's over there scratching stuff. But basically, so I did, I took the class. My professor honestly inspired me a lot because I saw that she majored in this and I was like, bro, I could do that. Like I literally had an epiphany in the middle of class. I was like, I could major in that. So then I literally like, it was on my mind. I called my homie, I called Jordan. I was like, yo dude, I think I wanna switch. Like it, it was so heavy on my heart that I had to do something when I left that class. Like I literally 
had it so heavy on my mind and it was crazy too because the next day i had my first psychology class like that was the start of it it was on a wednesday i walked into the classroom i immediately started having a panic attack because the energy in there was just not it like it was like god was like yelling at me to get out like literally i sat down and immediately i wanted to leave but i thought that i was just being lazy like i just didn't want to be in school you know like that's what i thought it was but it's really that just wasn't for me and i was forcing myself to be in a class that i didn't want to be in so literally there was a break in the psychology class like our teacher was like go take a 10 minute break or a 20 minute break come back because it was a three hour long class and i literally left on the break i was like i'm not going back to that course and i felt so sure like i literally walked it wasn't like a, hmm, should i go back like i literally walked off campus and was like i'm not fucking doing that like excuse my language but i was cussing because i was like having to kind of tell myself like christian you don't like this like you're not fucking going back to that class you're gonna go get in your car and figure something else out and that's exactly what i did so the, that same night or the next day i emailed my advisor and i was like hey i'm really interested in um, I actually said I'm interested in majoring in queer studies, but at Cal State Long Beach, there is no major in queer studies. There's only a minor in queer studies, but you can major in WIGS, Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies. So that's what I decided to do. Um, there is the option to minor in queer studies, like I said, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go that route. We'll see how it plays out. Um, but at the same time, I already have taken a lot of courses that will qualify me to get my, my minor in queer studies. So it is something that I can do in the future. But for now, I'm just here basically telling y'all that I have switched from psychology to women's gender and sexuality studies. Um, this is something that you have, you can see from my YouTube channel that I'm passionate about. It's me. It's the same thing. Uh, probably if I didn't major in this, I would have chose Africana studies. Um, and I can always do that for, um, I can always do that for my master's degree if I decide to go back or my PhD or whatever. So, you know, I don't have to stay in the same in the same um, boat, which feels amazing because sometimes I feel like, oh, I chose psychology when I was 17. I have to stay in psychology. I'm 23 now. I, I don't want to do the same thing that I chose when I was um, six years ago. And some people do like stay in their field. But um, I think that this just has a lot more meaning to me and it really sits right with me. And I really just I'm excited to go to class like I'm excited to learn the material like I'm literally doing a presentation. I would usually be pooping myself about a presentation and things like that. But this presentation means something to me. And I'm actually going to I'm actually like, like, here's the thing for psychology courses and other courses I didn't really care about. I noticed my patterns when I'm in these classes, right? For my psychology classes and other things like that, I just wouldn't want to read the material. I would like here and there, but I wouldn't feel like mm, I'm so excited to read this material. You know what I mean? Compared to now, like, look at this. Hope y'all can see that. Transgender history, homonormativity, and disciplinarity. That's the article that I'm reading and gonna do a presentation on. Like, this is stuff that I love. Like, I just see gay, lesbian, social, transgender relationship, like, homonorm homonormativity, learning terms I've never even heard before. And I'm not saying that um, what I'm majoring in is all about gay, trans, lesbian, bisexual, non-binary people. It has a big, a big um, emphasis on it, but it's not just about that. But the fact that that is even brought up gives me, it's, it's, it, it feels amazing. Um, I've also really enjoyed other classes too, like sociology. Sociology does bring up trans people and just a lot of topics that I, re I relate to and I love um, to hear about uh, anthropology as well. I've really enjoyed my anthropology classes talking about anatomy and they're very inclusive of people that are not um, in the binary of gender or sex. So, yeah. But yeah, y'all, I just kind of wanted to tell y'all because I'm 23 and I like, it was literally like a wake up. Like I was like, whoa, I can literally change my major. And now I'm like, I'm excited to finish, you know? And actually, because in psychology, I was like, dang, do I really want a psychology major? Like, what am I going to do with my major? Yada, yada, yada. But like this, this one, I'm, I'm confident in chasing. And, um, I don't even got to chase it. That's the thing. Like it's, it feels natural. Like I said. Um, I'm ready to do the coursework. I'm engaged. I'm excited. And like I said, look at my YouTube channel. I feel like it pertains to me and things that I already discuss and bring up. And now I'll just have more knowledge to help others. People like people like you watching this um, help myself and things like that. And it's not necessarily all help based. It's really just a lot of terminology things. And, and it is help. It is help. Let me not say it's not because 
it's me and this knowledge and the things I've learned from only being in these classes for what three weeks, two weeks, um, because there was a strike the first week, so I've really only been here for two weeks. Um, it's already life changing stuff and knowledge, and it's kind of pivoted me in a way that I'm really grateful for. So that's all for this video. I kind of just wanted to come out here and um, drop that on y'all because um, it got solidified, and I was like, I, I want to tell somebody, so I'm gonna tell y'all. But yeah, well, look at this. I got. I got this, it's so cute. It says, take it easy. It's tufted. Like it's rug material or whatever. It's cute. But yeah, y'all. Take it easy. For real though. Stay safe out there. And do what you want to do. And listen to yourself. And just really listen to yourself. Uh, I want to stress that. Listen to yourself. Because like for me... I was not listening to myself. This is not, this is not even the first time that I questioned my psychology degree. I questioned it, I think when I first got to Cal State Long Beach, but I was just like, nah, like Christian, you're just being lazy. Finish, finish, finish. But then the second time around, I was like, nah, I cannot do this. Like I cannot do this. And it's beyond just being lazy. Like I'm not a lazy person. I just don't do things I don't want to do. You know, like, you know, so yeah. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.